Hello, this is going to be a no-nonsense guide to running Steam VR without the Oculus Dashboard. This will free up a lot of performance that the Oculus Dashboard takes up, but do be warned that Oculus apps will not work. If it's an app that doesn't use Steam VR, it will not work unless you undo this. It's super easy to undo. I'll show you how to do it. And also, the Oculus button will not do anything either, which means you won't be able to access features such as Oculus Party Chat but you can still use the Steam VR dashboard to access other things. So step one is you're gonna wanna download oculus-.exe. Link is in the description to this. This is made by itscatlin03 on GitHub. So you'll download the dashboard, the new one. I'll just save it to my desktop for simplicity. And here we have it. Next, you're gonna wanna open your file explorer and go to where you've Oculus downloaded. It's very likely in the default location because you can't change it during setup. So you'll go here to your, your wherever your Windows installed, program files, Scroll down until you find Oculus, and then go to support, Oculus dash, dash, and bin. Scroll down a little and you'll see Oculus-.exe. So you're going to rename this original Oculus dash to whatever you want. Just make sure it's not Oculus-.exe. So in this case, I'm going to make it Oculus-.bak, which is what I recommend because BAK, you know, standing for backup. Minister into prompt. There we go. So now we have the old Oculus Dash right here. Next, we're gonna take our new Oculus Dash, so wherever you just downloaded it, and we're gonna drag and drop it into this location. You'll get some administrator props, continue, and you'll have it in here. Once you've done that, opening the Oculus software and putting your headset on will load up Steam VR instead of the oculus dashboard and the oculus dashboard will not be running in the background so as i mentioned before the oculus button will not work now i'm going to quickly go over how to undo this undoing this is incredibly easy so as you saw i renamed it to dot bak the original one all you're going to want to do is get rid of the new one so you can move it or just delete it or alternatively you can rename this you can rename this one and rename the other one back to the original name that way you can switch back and forth on the fly but i'm just gonna remove it no longer in this folder and we're gonna rename this one back to oculus-exe and voila now everything is back to normal and will not do will not boot up oculus the way we just did and this will allow you to go back to playing oculus native titles that you couldn't previously play before because we had this new thing installed if this helped you a like would be appreciated it doesn't take much time for you to leave a like and helps me out a lot and shares also help a lot and subscribing does too. So if you enjoyed this, if this helped you, please leave a like. It helps me out. Thank you. Goodbye.